Okay. All right. Uh, Where are we going? We're super cute. What are we? What are we doing? Nice cute guests right here. What are we doing? I don't know. Video. Hello. Ha. Top of the morning. What? What's wrong with the door in the background? It's an uncut video. Hi, Dave. Hi. Uh, if this is your first time to one of these videos, well, once a week we upload a vi beautifully edited cinematic masterpiece to this channel. This video is uncut. In today's uncut video, we're walking around with Dave Kaufman at Reptile Show, like we tend to do on these uncut videos when we happen to be at Reptile Show. Today, we happen to be at the Dallas NARBC Reptile Show, and uh, they are just starting to close down. And I was planning to end where we're about to start, but you should see where we're going to end because it's it's a cool spot. And if you wait until then, you, maybe you'll get to meet me at a spot. Dave, would I, you I like? Lost it. I, I, was I was gonna say, would you like to say I something? I was totally like on with your like. With your, like not having any clue what you were going to say, I was totally on point, and then I completely botched it. And this is the sound of my actual voice, and it's very sultry. <laughs> it is pretty nice. I wanted to look at this. Oh, look, this is an auction donor. This is a U.S. art auction donor right here, and that's how you know that uh, he's trying to pay for covering up something that must be deep, dark, and sinister about himself. No, <laughs> this this is Jordan of Heartland Reptiles, and Jordan has incredible enclosures here that I've not got to see in person until now, this very moment right here. Dave, oh, what, where I, are you I, going? I, I'm over here, hi. Come look at these enclosures. Yeah, Tell I me saw what these think. enclosures. These are super duper cool. They're super sturdy. <laughs> That's okay, those are just color samples. Here we go. Those were just color samples back that Dave knocked over. That's, that's not part that of the- That could have been really funny. <laughs> um, it was really funny. Yeah, yeah. So uh, this over here, okay, look, they're like modular, right? Right. So, okay, you know about them? Tell me so about So here's, here's what you do. So you put these together. There's a little hole here, a little hole here. You take this out. You put a woman in between these two, and then you do magic <laughs> and cut the woman in half. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> yes! That's so good! Um, one thing I have not thought of the, the, What you actually do with those, which I'm sure you, we could have guessed, but I'm just going to explain it just in case you really think that we're going to put women in here and chop them up. Not that we're not, but what you actually would do, well, you could chop a woman in half with that. That's how sturdy this stuff is. That is sturdy. That is like, I could knock Dave out with this right now, and nobody would know. Not even me. So you pull this out and it opens up a hole Here, so let me, that... Let me get that in the slot nice, for you. Nice, you put it in the slot. In the slot. And you open up o. a hole and then your snakes who are residing in here can then go, which there's shelving in here and you look and flip it out. There's all kinds of... This, this is a sturdy... So what I like about this is that um, you... So you can edit this, right? This nope. Is, oh, wow. Well. Um, so like all the urates and all the stuff that stick to the bottom of a other cage that's made out of other materials, this one won't. Because this is like, pow this is coated aluminum. Coated, powder, powder coated, coated aluminum. aluminum. Powder coated aluminum. So it's very, I do, it does feel very slick. It feels very smooth. It almost feels like a, I'm not gonna say what it feels like. But so you open up that and then you, you would have a hole here and you can open that up and your snake can go out and have a little field day in this whole play zone over here and go have a full access to be arboreal and climb up and down instead of just side to side. It which, also allows for passive breeding if you wanted to open it up for two animals. The one problem here is that you don't have a microphone, but you we just get to look at your beautiful face and I'll, say whatever I'll, I'll we want about it. For you. What do you want to, here, so, what do you want to say? Here, say so, it right into Dave's throat. All right, so, so what you can do is this allows for passive breeding. You can open up two, in, two portholes and allow the animals to seek each other out versus having to force them into one enclosure for breeding. It just allows it to be a lot more passive and on the animal's terms. So look what just happened here. So I'm wearing the mic, he's not. So he talked so, into me. So I'm talking Dave, into Dave, we saw right. that. We, everybody saw it. I but pointed the camera I'm, at you. What I want to say is that I have been called a tripod before. This is the first time that I've ever been a real tripod. You don't put microphones on tripods, but cameras on tripods, Dave. Gosh. Well, then my joke simply did not land. Great job earlier. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. Uh, it's going to go on a website real soon. Um, All right, so moving on along down the road. So, so I, what? before we like look at some coolness, 
What did you think of the very first ever Dallas you know, NARBC? You know, here's the thing. I talked to a bunch of people who are like regular Arlington, who have been going to Arlington shows yeah. since like well before I ever went to my first Arlington show. Yeah. The locals, regulars. And they, they were kind of like a little, little remiss of, not remiss, that's not the right word. They were, they were like, they were kind of missing their Arlington spot where they've been going for the entire I, I, show. I agree. I, for I agree. me personally, I did not even recognize like that it was different. It's because well, we still have my man right here like doing his thing. So like, what's up, bro? <laughs> so why, why would I think anything it's, different it's, when you see Snake and Stein Reptiles well, then running around that. the show? It's the same and, show, right? And, I, no, but and, the billing and, is the well, same. I, I, it, it doesn't seem any different to me. You asked me a question, I'm trying to answer it. It didn't seem too much different to me. It's, it's bigger. Uh, that's um, what I was going to say. I know there's some different laws happening in Dallas that it sounds like they're going to be... The, the YouTube laws in Dallas is, are going um, to be... Um, Dave Kaufman's gonna say, I can't cut out Dave's adventures. audio, so he's going to be talking to her about... And the Food Channel is um, Dave Kaufman Eats the World. Channels and the other and the channel is Dave Kaufman's Adventures. The video I filled with you is going to be on Dave Kaufman's Adventures. So just type in D-A-V-K-A-U-F-M-A-N. And everybody listening to you know, me. Actually, I can I can edit his audio out, so I'm just going to do that, and I'm just going to talk to you guys for a minute. What I was trying to say is the the laws here in Dallas are specific to Dallas, so you couldn't have like certain animals. There are certain sales that couldn't happen. We couldn't have any live animals at the U.S. Ark auction last night. So, that, but the, my I heard that one of the uh, Fish and Wildlife uh, representatives that was here was so impressed with this show that she said that she doesn't think that those outdated laws will still be laws by the tech, not next time the show rolls around. And so we'll see how that works. I'm doing a video over here. I'm sorry so, for that little... You're fine, you Dave. I'm just going to cut out your audio. I'm not editing it. I'm just going to take your audio out of that part. No, that, that's editing oh. it, and that doesn't count. Yeah, but I'm not cutting the video. It's uncut video. I, I can do whatever I want with the audio. All right, you know, All kinds of fun stuff. Okay, so let's get back on track here. We have yet to see some cool reptiles. Let's see what's around here. Nice shirt. How are you guys? Good, man. How you doing? So Dave has seen most of the show. I have not. I know there's one spot that I want to end up. I was originally planning to end up at Jordan's cages at the end, but since okay. I met you in the back of the show, that's where we went first. Right, let's work out this I way. know where I want to end up, but you take me to where you think you want to I go. I know. I mean, there are so many cool reptiles here. There are over 440 vendors here, which is a lot. So what's the coolest animal you saw at the show, and do you think we can get to it before they pack it up? Uh, well, let's go over and see Mr. Bob Clark. There we go. Because Bob Clark takes no crap from anybody and so um i was going somewhere with that now you're, I lost you're, now you're leaving bob Clark. you're going somewhere no no, we're no going we're to going bob off. we're going down here table to these ah yeah, did you talk to the to the shed guy to the shed guy i have not talked to the shed guy um but these are aztec tiger cat mochas and 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 some other things you're not going to see retics like this anywhere else only at Bob Clark's table. Is that what you're saying? Other than Bob Clark, yeah. Yeah, look at Bob Clark just sitting back there. He's like he's laying down in bed vertically. Look at how he is just so majestic. Oh, and now he just woke up. He's looking around. He's looking for some coffee, maybe a bagel for breakfast. Wandering around. Snake to sell. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh, he's, he's noticed us. <laughs> Quick, hide. <laughs> He's so up. <laughs> <laughs> we are admiring your Aztecs. They're very admirable. Az and the, these aren't without their charm. Oh, look at that. Yeah. That's got a crazy look to it. Paradox it's Town, shiny. that is pretty epic. It's very shiny. Where's the Paradox Cow? Paradox Cow. Very nice. And of course, if we go over here, we see albino pied Burmese pythons, which are simply epic. S simply epic. That's quite simply epic. That's quite the description. And now that I've said that, Bob's going to give me one for saying that they were epic. Is that is that how that works? Maybe be promoted. I can do. Did you hear that, folks? Good to have you on the team. Yeah, <laughs> I. I'll take that one. So what do I have to do for it? Get a bag and can't think of anything else. I think this is actually happening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave before is you're the disappointed. Off? No, <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Oh my gosh, it's Brian. Hi. Oh my god, 
guys. How are you doing? Aunt Davis here. Aunt David. Hi. Aunt Davis, like, Hi. How are you? <laughs> Good to meet you. And love the for coming to shows. Shirt. Awesome. Nope. How you doing? What's your name? Hi. Good to meet you. Oh, this is so cool. Didn't expect to see you on here. <laughs> yeah. Right on. So, That's the best part about Reptile Show right there. All right. Good right. meeting you guys. That's the best part right there. Hugs. Um, Dave. Look, how much what time else? do we have left in this thing? How much time do we have left? Oh, not much, dude. Oh, not we, much. We better get going. All right, over here is a garbage can. Whoa. Dude. Chips? Yes. For real? That, but the, wait a minute. That is a leucistic chip. Is it? Otherwise, it would be blue. Is that the way this works? Yes. Yes. And wait a minute. Watch me. I will demonstrate how to captive breed a chip. So you have one chip. You just simply... Now you have two chips. Now three chips. Now, five, six, I don't know, a bunch of captive bread chips that you can now individually sell based on the size. Unless, of course, somebody came along and... No chips. Dude, that was in the garbage. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, Dave, you gotta tell me these things before they happen. <laughs> well... <laughs> See, if I told you about it, then you wouldn't have done it, and it would have been funny. <sighs> oh, I like that. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Put it back on. <laughs> now we're just going to sit here and point the camera at it for another, I don't know, two and a half hours or so. I think it... <laughs> just make sure that the sign stays there for... Orange Dream Yellow Belly <laughs> Fire Pride. Come take a look at this. the camera come out and say, well, put that back on. Good, we good idea. We can get it out. Take it out, Dave. It's Dave proof. It is Dave proof. Dave's attracted to snakes, if you Actually, haven't noticed. Actually, no, I'm going to take out this Orange Dream Enchi Fire. <laughs> this thing is smoking. Look Dave at loves. This. <laughs> <laughs> Dave loves Pied Ball Pythons. I love by, but yeah, but I Pied Ball Python. This is a really amazing looking Pied Ball Python. What is so amazing about this? Pop, pop, I pop, just, pop, you know, when you have fire, it's kind of a, a, a color enhancer. It's a lightener gene. <laughs> Did you say lightener? Lightener, like it lightens things. I know, lightener. I know. Light, lighting up gene. I just, I've just heard Jesse say that a lot. It's a light, oh, well, that's really where I got it from. Um, but Orange Dream and Inchi. Inchi is also a gene that accentuates other genes. <laughs> And then it just makes for a really awesome pie. It does. I, I, will, I have to agree with you that Enchi is the, my favorite gene to add into Bible because I, I, love, agree. I love high pattern and I love what it does to pattern. It just gives more of it. So, yeah. I 100%. Now, this one doesn't have that classic high pattern that you get from an Enchi. True. What do you think that is because of the Orange Dream? Or? Uh, no, I just think that it's luck of the draw. Oh, all right. You know? Because a lot of Enchi, like uh, most of the Enchi, like <laughs> the one single Enchi clown pie. Oh, no, I produce a couple of Enchi clown pies. Almost full pattern and almost no white. Yeah, I'm gonna put this guy back. Okay. Because <laughs> if not, then I have He's to get out my uh, so. debit card for 850 bucks, <laughs> which you know wouldn't be a bad thing. But I want to get into something a little bit different. Like for instance, I want to get into ball pythons that actually give live birth to crested geckos. <laughs> Can you imagine what that would be? Like, oh, I think look there's at one this. right here. Brian, no, I, seriously. Oh, snap. Here we have a ball python that has given birth to a crested gecko. That's what I'm talking <laughs> That's about. A breeding pair. They got it figured yeah. out. Wow. That's amazing. And not only has he given live birth to this crested gecko, this crested gecko is now breeding this snake. This is why I have you on, Dave. It's for your extensive knowledge. I was going somewhere with that. And now that I think about science. it. Yes. And yes. Classic, right? All right. This is this is like a plastic gachi pond. Everybody that thinks that he put a actual crested gecko in with his little uh, uh, ball python there, you were canceled not for five happening. seconds. Yeah, yeah you were. The internet was on fire there for a second, and dude, yeah, you almost. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm glad that's over. Yeah, I'm glad that's, he's not going to be canceled. You know what he's I realized? Nice Dave, Dave has way more fun on my channel than he does his. I own. have more so fun much. on your channel than I do on my channel. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. why I'm glad to have you on. My channel is like, hello, I'm. But Dave you know what Kaufman. else is funny? This um, is my reptile adventures. <laughs> uh, come join me while I catch an anaconda in Suriname. See, that's my channel. You know what else is fun that I'm realizing about? I actually also, I think I have more fun on your channel than I do on mine. So we're. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at what? There was a winner here. What's happening? Boom. Rattle On Award winner. Oh, look at that. Rattle On Award. That was for 2022. Yeah. 
This is for 2024 and 2023. And this is for sale. No, that's for 2023, and that's for and sale. And this is for sale. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yes. Look at that, Dave. The Rattle On Awards. Yes. Okay. I, uh, Let's go to one more place, I, I, I shall we? I'd love to win one of those one day, but I don't think so. David Levinson, how are you? What'd you buy? I bought snake bags and snake containers. Yes. Without the snakes in them. No, I'm going to put some snakes in them. Oh, that's yeah. exactly. Okay, good, good, good. Sweet. <laughs> um, did you see those axolotls back there? Um, I didn't see the axolotls. Right here. Let's go back and see Let's take a look at the axolotls. Oh, those are some big old axolotls, These dude. are big old. Now, if you want to turn an uh, axolotl into a salamander, then you need to put iodine in this you water. You know what? We talked about this. Did we? We did. Oh. At Tinley one time. Did anybody prove me wrong? Um, if not, therefore it's fact. Yeah, I don't think anybody did that. I think that these are big. These, these are, much, are really big. There's some big axolotls. You know, the unfortunate thing about axolotls, you can no longer keep them as pets in California. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. When I was a kid, we used to go to the... California has turned communist. Have don't it? worry, Minnesota's next, Dave. No, it's not. <laughs> we are going to stay nice and blue. All right, so that just got you a bunch of thumbs downs. All right, so... <laughs> That's ridiculous, dude. Wow. I know the place I'm going. I'm at, I know where I'm ending up. Oh, I, okay. Are you okay to end up somewhere, or I'm you want to keep going? I, dude, following you around for all this time, I've ended up in some pretty, pretty ending up places. <laughs> this is the spider shop, and I wanted to stop here because, look, it's Tyler. Not, not only did his uh, interview come out yesterday on Redline Report. Oh, dang, we have five minutes left. Not only that, but we have five minutes left. That's it. All proceeds to US ARC. Don't forget to support US ARC. Don't forget to sign up for membership for US ARC if you don't have one already, so you can pay attention to Phil and all the things he has to say to you over your video. And... <laughs> Tyler, can we see a really cool spider? I know we're catching you when you're packing up, but so again, here, Tyler, show Tyler this spider right here. Spider Shop is going to be on right here. yesterday's episode that just got uploaded of Redline Report, and that's not a spider, Dave. And then uh, we're going to actually Ty right, Tyler's having us out in July to the Pacific Northwest Reptile Show, as well as to his shop up there, and we're going to do a film and show like his cool. Tarantula thing, so I hope you've tuned in to, for the Redline Report interview that went out yesterday. I'll link it in the description if you've missed it. Um, go check that out. Meet Tyler there on that video, and you'll see Tyler again this summer when I go out to visit him uh, coming up real quick here in July. So, thanks, Tyler. Dave, Tyler has something to say to you. I, I, I'm going to say goodbye to the people. Oh, Tyler, okay, yeah, great. Finally, like, officially meeting you. I've walked by your table a couple of times today. Good meeting you, man. Good dude right there. Uh, look at this Occidentalis. Oh, yes, dude. That is n that is nice. These are what I am going to go to Argentina to find. When? Uh, I don't know. Within the next six months, I'm sure. The, within the next six, next six months, you're saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm working on the Boa movie. Okay. So it's going to take me from Mexico down to Argentina to find these. Yeah. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. I hope I find these. That'd be a very expensive trip down there to come home empty-handed. <laughs> yeah, that would be. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, so guys, if you haven't already checked out one of Dave Kaufman's four other channels, the links for all of those channels will be in the video description down below. Thank Go you. Go check him out on all. He's got so many different adventures he's doing that he couldn't contain them all within one, or even two, or even three channels. But yet, four channels. Four channels. Yes. So, and I never sleep, and I never eat, and I never interact with other human beings. That's why he's trying to breed tortilla chips. And that's why I have four channels. <laughs> because nobody likes me except for this girl. I like you. What's up? Yeah, I like she you likes too. you. All right. Aww. You guys take care of yourselves. Take care I'm of each other. I'm going to go look at what they have over here. Okay. See ya. And? And what did we say? The take care of each other? And yep. So take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Feed your reptile obsession. And a rattle on. I forgot my own catchphrase. <laughs> Bye, guys. I, I, I panicked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's <was> good. <laughs>